So you've been thinking about selling your home, but you think that maybe for selling it on your own could be better than actually listing it with an agent. My name is Jonathan Cabrera. I am your local realtor with Coa Banker, and today we're going to discuss the good, the bad, the ugly of for sale by owner. This is Seller Wednesday. that you want to sell your home and then you ask the question then why do I need a realtor now that's a very valid question and honestly why do you when you can actually send it, sell it on your own today we're going to discuss the good the bad and the ugly of for sale by owner and what that could potentially mean to you so here's the good one of the benefits of selling your house by yourself or for sale by owner is that you don't have to pay a realtor commission I mean, most realtor commissions are somewhere between 4 and 6%, and you can actually save that by selling, selling the house on your own. Another good thing about selling the house on your own is that you control pretty much whatever you want. When you can show the house, when you want to conduct an open house, who to show it to, what time works best for you, things like that. So you control pretty much the entire aspect of selling the house and you know who can come in, when to come in, when not to come in, and things of that nature, who, even who to reply to when um, you even get an offer or you know, requesting to be seen in the house. The bad. One of the bad things about for sale by owners is that you net less than you would if you use a realtor. On average, usually a person who sells their house on their own usually sells about 6% less than what the market value for their house is. The second bad thing about listing or selling the house on your own is that you get less exposure. Because when you're selling the house on your, by yourself, you're not adding the house onto the multiple listing service. Therefore, not a lot of realtors can see it. Um, chances are for you to put it on Zillow and Redfin and all those other places, you have to pay for it. So you might not want to go that route. So you get less people who may be able to see the house that's up for sale. I mean, the for sale sign that you have in the front of the house might not be enough. So you get less exposure by selling the house on your own. The ugly. One of the ugly parts about selling the house on your own is that you have to spend money, right? You have to buy the for sale by owner signs. You have to buy, you know, open house signs if you're gonna hold the open house. You have to pay uh, Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, those websites if you wanna post your house on their websites for other people to see that. So you have to spend money and most times it might cost you a whole heck of a lot than what you expected. The other ugly part about listing a house on your own is you have to negotiate with the potential buyer. Now, if you're not a good negotiator, not a good people person, you don't like to really interact with people so much like that, or you don't know really whether or not you're getting a good offer on your house, if you're not a good negotiator, then chances are you might either settle for less or you just might have a horrible time um, negotiating a price for the house and might not sell the house as quickly as you thought you could. The other ugly thing about selling the house on your own is that you don't know who, whether or not your buyer is qualified or not. Um, most of the time people who go into the houses are just going to see it just to see it. They may not even be approved, uh, pre-approved for a mortgage to buy a house. So you could potentially be wasting your time dealing with those people. So the ugly part about selling the house is not everyone's qualified. So in conclusion, I as a realtor, I'm not telling you that a for sale by owner is either a good thing nor is it a bad thing. Um, what I am saying is number one, you will save your commission if you do decide you want to sell by yourself. Number two, you do have full control of who, when, and times you want somebody to come in and view your house. Um, the bad side to it is that you don't really have a way to really qualify the buyers that are coming into your house to see the house. Um, and also you don't have much exposure to the market to let everyone who has actually looked into buy a house know that your house is actually for sale. The ugly side of it to, uh, to it is that you, you need to negotiate, right? So if you're not a good negotiator, then that's a downside to it. And also you need to spend money. 
You know, you have to spend money on advertising, taking pictures of the house, putting it up online and things like that. So if you don't have funds or you don't want to, then maybe for sale by owner isn't your, um, isn't your thing and maybe you shouldn't for sale by owner. Um, so that's pretty much wraps up today's for sale by owner series and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave some questions down below if you have anything. My name is Jonathan Cabrera. I'm your local realtor with Coal Banker, and this is Seller Wednesday. Yeah.